take our rightful position as salt and light in this perverse world in order to transform the spiritual, social, economic and political fabric of the nations. The destiny of our nations rests in our hands. As God's representatives on earth, we must be willing to declare the position of God in our societies, institutions, families and wherever we find ourselves. Welcome to Weekly Inspiration with Apostle Eric Nyamiche, Chairman of the Church of Pentecost. This broadcast is powered by the Church of Pentecost Headquarters. Weekly Inspiration, be inspired to transform. In last week's message, we learned that God has embedded in us giftings that would usher us into greatness. We must therefore not be bitter towards people who do not appreciate our giftings. Like Joseph, if you sit by God, he will certainly make your enemies your footstool. And then last week we said that not just fearing God or sitting close to God or relaxing in God, will bring you into prominence. There are certain things that you must pay attention to, the graces and the giftings that God has given you. We saw how Joseph, by the interpretation of dreams, have had himself up there as the one who is after Pharaoh in the whole land of Egypt, a land where he was sold as a slave. So pay close attention to your giftings and work very hard at them. Riches begin always inside a man. But Pharaoh said something to Joseph. After he had given him that position, he gave Joseph a wife too, an Egyptian wife. And this Egyptian wife, the father was a priest to a god called On. But he, his wife was a bit different from Jezebel, who also had... His father also a priest and herself also a priest. This one, I suspect, was a good one. And Joseph gave birth to two children. I read from Genesis 41, 51, 52, 53 downwards. Joseph named his firstborn Manasseh and said, It is because God has made me forget all my trouble and all my father's household. Manasseh means God has made me forget all my troubles. The second son he named Ephraim and said, It is because God has made me fruitful in the land of my suffering. Now he has two children, Ephraim, Manasseh. The first one means that it is because God has made me forget all my troubles and all my father's household. But I want to ask you, even naming this boy Manasseh means that he has not forgotten. <laughs> because the name means that it is because God has made me forget. If you have forgotten, why are you naming your child after that? Forgive and forget is not practicable. The Bible speaks of forgiveness, but not forget. The human being doesn't really forget, but we can always forgive. What he's trying to say is this, something happened to me, but God had turned that thing around. He has replaced it with something better. That is all that he's trying to say. Manasseh, may the Lord replace whatever you have lost with something better. May God grant you a Manasseh. Now he says, Ephraim, it is because God has made me fruitful in the land of my suffering. He deserves to say this. Because he was sold as a slave in the house of Potiphar. You all heard what happened to him in prison and now a prime minister. He has every cause to praise the name of the Lord. He has gone through a lot he calls suffering. The things we go through, by all means, will refine us. And we don't always have to expect good things to come our way, not at all. When evil come your way, it doesn't mean that you are cursed. You are not. The world is not a bed of roses. You must always go through certain things. And the Bible says in all the things we go through, God will use it to work for good to those who love him. Now Manasseh and Ephraim is born. Many years later, Jacob was about to die. And he decided to bless Ephraim and Manasseh. 
Let's go to Genesis chapter 48. Chapter 48, verse 20. He blessed them that day and said, In your name, O Israel, pronounce this blessing. May God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. So he put Ephraim ahead of Manasseh. Now, Jacob is saying that he has blessed Ephraim and Manasseh, or Manasseh and Ephraim. And in their name, Israel will bless people and say that, May God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. I am praying for you. And this, today I want to bless you. It doesn't matter what you are going through. May God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. May God bless you in the land of your suffering. May God cause you to forget the things that you have gone through. May the Lord God Almighty, the God of Jacob, the God of Joseph, may he bless you with the blessings of Ephraim and Manasseh. Be blessed. I've blessed you and I know that you are going to be blessed. God be with you. May I give you the space to give your life to Jesus as Lord. If you don't have him and if you don't know him, you can't make it to where he is. So if you want to go to heaven, if you want to be at where Jesus is, then pray this after me. Dear Lord, I repent of my sins. I accept Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. If you have prayed this prayer, God has become your father. God be with you. Thanks for watching this episode of Weekly Inspiration with Apostle Eric Nyamiche. In this week's message, we learned that we may not forget the wrong things that have happened to us, but we can forgive our detractors instead of...